a couple big shifts. One is how to characterize the risk of cholecystectomy. Two, there's been a huge shift in how we perform cholecystectomy with the incorporation of robotic techniques. It has a learning curve um, and also the costs are arguably higher. I think overall we think that it's pretty safe to do an experienced hands or robotic cholecystectomy. It's just, it, since it's still, I would say in its late infancy, um, since robotic surgery has been around for a while now, um, but as more and more people are trained on it in their general surgery residency program, what do we need to adapt to make sure that it's a safe cholecystectomy on a robotic platform? The accessibility of the Robots Limited, which results in disparities in care and access issues for those who have limited uh, availability, whether that's the hospital itself or the patient. Um, so it might widen the gap of, of healthcare disparities uh, inadvertently if we start saying everyone should do it robotically because it's safer. We're trying to make sure that we don't uh that we avoid a common bile duct injury in these challenging cases where there's so much inflammation and you can't visualize the critical view, the cystic duct, the cystic artery away from the common bile duct. And that's why uh, when we can't remove the whole gallbladder, then we do a subtotal cholecystectomy. Those who, who go down the path by necessity to do partial cholecystectomy should counsel their patients about what does that mean in the future? That's the key part here is now that we're shifting to recommend this more, more so than we've had in the past, that we need to share that with the public, especially the patient and their family, so that they're aware that there's a there's about a five to, depending on the study, 15% risk of having cholecystitis-like symptoms in the future. It's still one of the most challenging things that we face in general surgery. No gallbladder is quite the same. And then when there's a very challenging gallbladder, what can we do to offer the safest solution for our patients? Mm -hmm.